This superior creator is Almighty God, Lord of the earth and the heavens and all that lies between. Boobies, with their 5.9 feet wingspan, are the largest seabirds. They feed by hunting fish close to the surface of the water. They fly by beating their wings or gliding and are able to spot fish from as high as 98 feet. In order to catch fish, they fold their wings and dive straight down like an arrow. The bird's strong skull suffers no damage during such dives. Furthermore, the air sacs in its head absorb the shock from diving. Boobies live in colonies on steep cliffs or on small islands near the shore. Land-dwelling carnivores are unable to harm the young in such places. These birds, which live in temperate and warm regions, spend much of their time in the sea. They reproduce in colonies on shores or islands. Boobies build their nests on steep cliffs on Canada's eastern seaboard. These nests are very wide and range in height from 11 to 23 inches. The nests are constructed using plants, seaweed, feathers and soil, mixed with a substance known as guano. The places where boobies build their nests are very noisy. Yet this bird is immediately able to locate its mate from among thousands of other birds after emitting a cry lasting just one-tenth of a second. The parents take turns to incubate their young. The bird that is to do this approaches the nest in a bow-legged fashion. It then wraps its legs around the egg and sits on it. Forty-three to forty-four days later, a small hole appears in the egg. Within the next thirty-six hours, a small defenseless chick will hatch out and open its eyes. The chick grows rapidly in its first 10 days and is protected by its parents. The family help with feeding the chick. When the parents return to the nest with food, the chick immediately goes up to them and shakes its head. It is very hungry. It makes this clear by issuing an increasingly loud, monotonic cry. It then receives food that has already been digested in its parents' stomachs. Until they reach a size capable of eating a whole fish, these baby birds are fed with this liquid mixture in their parents' stomachs. Booby birds possess one little known feature. The places where these birds live were once used as lighthouses until the construction of lighthouses in the 20th century. God placed the white feathers of the booby bird, which shine in the dark, at the service of human beings. At a time when technology was not far advanced, the presence of such a convenience was, of course, a great blessing from Almighty God.
God reveals the blessings He has bestowed on human beings in the Qur'an. Don't you see that God has subjected to you everything in the heavens and earth, and has showered His blessings upon you, both outwardly and inwardly? Yet there are people who argue about God without knowledge or guidance or any illuminating book. He has made night and day subservient to you, and the sun and moon and stars all subject to His command. There are certainly signs in that for people who use their intellect. And also the things of varying colors He has created for you in the earth. There is certainly a sign in that for people who pay heed. Eagles build their nests where nobody can reach them. They roll their eggs over every three hours to prevent the embryos sticking to the shells. After the young eagles have hatched, they are carefully fed by their parents. Food is given to the chicks in the form of small scraps torn off by their parents. Eagles keep parasites and insects that might harm their eggs and young away from the nest. They do this by lining their nests with aromatic plants containing protective substances. All eagles have an extra eyelid called a nictitating membrane. The function of this special lid is to clean and protect the eyes of the birds. For example, eagles usually pull the membranes over their eyes when feeding their chicks. It is a precaution to protect the eyes of the parents from any harm that these chicks might accidentally inflict as they lunge for food. Eagles hunt by day. The reason for this is that the air temperature that rises during the hot daytime hours permits the bird to use less energy. Grooming for eagles is of great importance in flying and hunting, especially when flying at speeds of up to 70 or 80 miles an hour. The feathers also need to be maintained against the harmful effects of water and wind. This maintenance is carried out thanks to an oil gland at the bottom of the tail feathers. They take the substance produced in this gland in their beaks and rub it over their plumage. The eagle needs to be both light enough to be able to